back to the heat. We're embracing the heat here at NBC 26 and see what we could do with it. The glass half full approach to life. Mm -hmm. NBC 26 is Juliana Falk is running some experiments out in the heat. Not even six months ago, we were doing experiments like this. You get to see all that steam shooting across as that hot water interacts with that cold weather. But this time of the year, the outcome of those experiments are looking a little different. So we're seeing what new experiments we can do today using the heat. Let's get started. The first experiment we're going to try is see if we can bake these cookies on the dashboard inside the car. So we're going to make sure all the doors, all the windows are shut in the car. We're going to put the cookies on top of the dash so it can soak up the sun, soak up the heat that's going to be trapped inside of the car. Now, before we get out, we're going to see just how hot it really is in here. 161.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's see what else we can do outside. Up next, we're going to see if we can cook this grilled cheese sandwich on the pan. We're also going to throw on some bacon, see if that'll cook in the sun, and why not an egg as well? See how that will do out here today. Now, we decided to ask our very own Cameron Moreland what he thinks about our little experiment today. Cameron, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, it doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, but unfortunately, this is not going to work. Even on the hottest days, and we're talking about Arizona type of hot days, you need surface temperatures of around 160 degrees to fry an egg. And at the most, we're probably looking at temperature is only reaching about 140, whether it's on this cookie sheet or on the sidewalk. All right, but it was a good thought. It was, and uh, maybe you need to stick that in the oven later on and we can enjoy it after the news. I don't know about that. We'll just have to see what happens at six. So, Juliana, can you hear us out there? This sandwich is not working. This egg did not cook and this bacon. No, not edible, but I am still confident about these cookies in here. They have been in the car all day today. We're going to check it out here. Honestly, they don't look too bad. They are pretty tough. All right, let's well, well, the bottom is a little mushy, but you know what? My mom's not going to like this, but we're going to try it anyways. We're going to we're going to see how this works. A little mushy, but not too bad, you guys. John, Nina, I'm going to bring these back in for you guys. You guys can try it out, too. I'll send it back to you guys now. All right, we'll see if we're as brave as you are and we'll if uh, Juliana's at work tomorrow after eating uh, perhaps semi-raw <laughs> cookie dough.